Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. I last left off after we defeated Magda, rescued Leah from the Imperial Guards, who are actually Belial's um, snake men in disguise, and discovered that Adria is still alive, and we rescued her as well. Kind of. Kind of rescued her. She kind of did pretty well on her own. I also realized I haven't been picking up Leah's books here. Today? Please look. You I heard you came here from Tristram. My family came from there. That place has had some very bad luck, hasn't it? Yep. You know what I want to do? I'm not really using these right now. How did I... There we go. Let's go with 150. I'm going to sell off a good portion of these and let's go with 500 of these just so I've got a little bit of gold on me at the moment. Not that I need it, but I would like to have a little gold so I can see if there's any if there is anything that I want I can hopefully afford it then. So yeah, I've been I've been playing Dark Souls 2 in my spare time. And hey, most of my I <laughs> have almost no blood left on them. I encountered one of those moments where I I am so upset that I didn't catch it on a video. Now that I do the videos, there's a lot of moments where it's like it happens and I'm like, "Damn, I wish I had that on a, on recording." Okay, a bit of backstory as to what's going on with that game. Me and my messed up mind, I decided you know what? I'm going to create a character who uses only fist weapons in Dark Souls 2. I'm going to make it a female. And the finishing touch, <laughs> I'm going to name this character this is very inappropriate. I'm going to name this character Fist Me Daddy. <laughs> Because it uses fist weapons. That's all I'm using is a fist weapon in one hand and a shield in the other hand. Sometimes a bow and other things, but... Oh yeah, and I also use a whip here and there just to kind of add to the disturbing, perverted, kind of sick stuff. But anyway... So yeah, I'm running around with a character named Fist Me Daddy. Not exactly, <laughs> not exactly the best idea, but I thought it was funny, so I went with it. So today, I'm running around using that character. I get invaded by somebody who apparently has the same sense of humor I do, because their character name it says Dark Spirit Harder Daddy has invaded. <laughs> so. I couldn't help but just burst out laughing when I saw that, because what are the odds? ...when the Kulask nobles all but invaded the city. Soon after, their emperor, Hakan I, joined them and made Chaldeum his capital. Though his actions seemed audacious, see what he managed he to bring further die. peace and prosperity to the city for the duration of his reign. On collection. Very valuable. But, but yeah, I just... That just made me laugh so much. 
Wait a second. First I'm going to go back up here and speak with... What's her face? But yeah, I just couldn't help but laugh when that happened. The guards were asking you about this Black Soul Stone. I remember reading about it in Uncle's journal, but it didn't seem important. No, but it is. It is the key to defeating evil forever. It was created by the mage Zoltan Kuhl to trap demonic souls. Yes, he was a renegade Haradrim, dismembered by his brethren before he could activate the Soul Stone. His head was sealed away in the Dogger Oasis. We must retrieve it. Because if we're to use the Soul Stone to defeat Belial and Asmodan, Zoltan Kool must live again. I do not like this. We can defeat Belial without using a wizard's foul magic. Murderer. Torturer. Monster. These were the titles bestowed upon Zoltan Kool by... Okay. Thanks. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch, Adria. She told us of the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could destroy evil forever. Of all mortals, I have been given the task of retrieving it. Nice. Again, thank you for cutting off this story there. Do you regret abandoning Leah? What? No, I never saw it that way. She grew up in safety, while I risked my life to find the key to our salvation. It was the sacrifice that I had to make. In any case, Leah will meet her full potential under my guidance. Do you not have things to do? Geez, somebody's a little bitter. <laughs> How well did you know Cain? For a time, during the darkening of Tristram, we spent many nights in the Tavern of the Rising Sun, discussing his Herodric texts and the varied arcana I'd collected during my travels. Had you seen him since then? Only from afar. From time to time our paths would cross, and I would catch glimpses of Leah as she grew. It broke my heart that I could not reveal myself and raise her as my own. How did the Imperial Guard find you? I was trying to steal out of the city. I'd return to gather some things before setting out to recover Zoltan Kuhl's head, and the guards found me. Zoltan Kuhl, a legend. There is no doubt in my mind he is as powerful as the stories. A bit of his genius. Sorry about that. He was surely mad. He was obsessed with immortality and power. A madman. We would do better to leave him asleep in the desert than to call on him for aid. You have a better idea. I do not. It is merely a warning. Tyriel said that Zoltan Kuhl could not be trusted. Is it wise to ignore the word of an angel? It will be dangerous, but you have faced great peril before. If Belial and Asmodan invade, you will have much more to worry about than a dismembered wizard. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I don't like dealing with Kool any better than you do, but I see no other way. If Adria says we must, then we must. Uncle Deckard trusted her, and so will I. Sorry, Bo, that had to adjust the volume. I heard that you were there 20 years ago, when Mount Ariat was destroyed. Baal, the Lord of Destruction, sought to enslave mankind to the power of Hell by corrupting the sacred world stone. Unthinkable though it was, I was forced to destroy it. And my homeland with it. Understand, friend, that entire worlds burned as Heaven and Hell fought over the world stone. Ariat's destruction was regrettable. And believe me, I paid a high cost as well. What became of you after you destroyed the World Stone? 
The resultant explosion dispersed the light and harmony of my angelic being. Without form or shape, I restored myself within the realm of pandemonium. It took me twenty of your years, but finally, I returned home to the high heavens. Were you welcomed as a hero? Hardly. Believing my actions had endangered creation, the Angiris Council put me, the Archangel of Justice, on trial. I knew then that heaven was doomed, unless I could enlist the aid of mankind against the coming onslaught of hell. Okay. Three hundred years ago, I selected Cool and six others to form the Haradrim. He was a great man who was driven mad by his long quest to hunt evil. Why did the Haradrim kill Zoltan Cool? He delved into powers not meant for man. Trying to fashion an artifact that could fill his empty heart with the souls of angels and demons. The Haradrim had no choice but to slay him. The Order never recovered. Okay, just wanted to get the little bit of lore there. I'm not going to go and get their lore stories. Because that just, that would just take too much time. I want to get like the main story stuff about like that about what's going on with the quests I've got and things like that. It's disgusting. I've seen that man going in and out of the sewers. You never can tell with those types. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have something to say to me? <laughs> it's quite a maze down here, isn't it? Uh, not this part, no. This part's actually pretty straightforward. Diablo was the youngest of the prime evils, but I found him the most dangerous, for his power over terror left him incapable of feeling fear. Though he had easily possessed and corrupted many humans, Diablo's essence was finally trapped in a soul stone and banished to the unfathomable abyss 20 years ago. We've got a merchant here. Doesn't usually have anything too good, in my opinion. We've overcome many trials, and even more lie ahead. It pleases me to know we shall meet them, side by side. Listen to me. I cannot talk for long. The Lyle's guards are constantly watching me. Emperor Hakan. Forgive me for my behavior at court. The guards would have killed me had I sided with you. But I will help you now as I can. You must be headed to the Oasis. I can open this gate for you. How did this all happen? There's little I can do. Between my advisors and the Imperial Guard, my every move and action are controlled. I have tried to fight back, but Bilal's influence is strong. But now you've given me a chance. Perhaps my only chance. How can you aid me? You're here to kill Bilal, aren't you? I can help. You're a child. I can still fight in my own. I want my empire back. I will find where Belial is hiding and deliver him to you. Good luck with that. Why should I trust you? You tried to kill us. I told you it was not my choice. My every move is controlled and I am surrounded by enemies. But I swear to you, I will help you. I will prove it to you. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say, buddy. Now time to get into the action. And I have to turn the volume down. I forgot it gets really loud. Was 
Not quite as loud as that other game, as the other game I'm playing right now, but this one does get pretty loud too. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got the... What are they called? Pox faults? I don't want it to be so loud while I'm fighting. But not much I can really do about it. Still recharging. Back to hell, dog. I don't like the look of that. Electrified plague and illusions. Not too bad. Now I can actually see his life going down as I'm hitting him. Nice. I mean, I could before, but now I can see it. It's much more noticeable. Something a lot more satisfying when you can actually see the health bar just dropping continually while you're fighting. I lost just a little bit of damage there, but... And Dario was the only female evil. She aided the lesser evils for many years, but eventually she lost faith in their plots. Two decades ago, she chose to help Diablo during his resurgence and seize the Citadel of the Sightless Eye. Ultimately, she perished at the hands of brave heroes. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically what you're going to hear about all of the evils, most of the evils, not all of them, is they perished at the hands of great heroes, and he's referring to your character from Diablo 2, or the characters from Diablo 2 if you didn't have one, but if you had one, he's referring to I like to think of it as my character, but he, he's referring to the people who played Diablo 2 and defeated the bosses. God, those things are creepy. Say there was an achievement, I don't remember if it was for a certain class, or if it was just for, for Act 2. I want to look at it real quick now, just to, I think it was just for Act 2. Yeah, right here, Imp Slapped. <laughs> Knock back five Imps at one time. Some of the achievements have pretty funny names. Some of them sound pretty disturbing, too. That bugs me that that doesn't light up. I've never seen a place like Yeah, fallen. Level fifty two. It is easy to focus on the dangerous foes one may encounter on the ground, but the blood hawks rule the skies with terrible ferocity. 
These cream Juriel is the twin of Andara. Blah blah blah. Yeah, Duriel's the twin of Andario. I shouldn't have skipped that. I was thinking there would be the the info on the fallen shaman guys. Have I already run into them? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, there's those out here. Just deal damage when they explode like that. To those who doubt my achievements in research, I present my findings on the Dune Dervish. It took me many years to find the truth of these strange, deadly figures. But my sources indicate fury. that they are the cursed remains of mages who summoned a demon far beyond their power to control. Now this place is quite large actually. Normally takes me quite a while to clear it out. Like not a really long time, but it takes a bit longer than some than a lot of the other places, because as I mentioned it is quite large. Ooh. I need fury. That was about to get very loud, but I was able to stop it. <laughs> From the aqueduct, so it doesn't ruin our water supply. Doesn't pay well, but I find plenty to sell. Have a look. No, oh, I didn't want to sell it. Oops. What sort of emperor allows his people to fall into such suffering? Children have no concept of leadership. Perhaps his advisors are at fault. True. I suppose this is what one should expect in such a case. Oh, yeah. I almost think holy. Do you see that enemy over there? Yes, I saw it. Fire Chains, Orbiter, and Jailer. I wish I could do that. Help return. What, did he spin around? Fucking out. And when they spin like that, they can actually reflect projectiles. At least they have in the past. Because I remember way back when they first... When they first introduced the... Nephilim Rifts and Greater Rifts. I think the... I can't remember if they came at the same time or if Greater Rifts were introduced sometime later, but... Anyway, back with the... when they first had Nephilim and Greater Rift, in Greater Rift you had to go through a trial. You had to go through a trial before you could go into one. Which would, which would determine what level Greater Rift you went into. And in the trial you had to fight groups of enemies, you had to fight them in waves, and depending on how many waves you killed, it would tell you, and how fast you killed them, it would determine where you, what level you went into. Returning, crusader. Now I understand. Each crusader took an apprentice. When the crusader fell, his apprentice would take up his armor, his place in the order, and even his very name. When the first generation of crusaders fell, 
Their own apprentices took up their identities. And so it has continued. 200 years. Okay, anyway, as I was saying... In one of those trials when I was... When I was fighting with... I believe I had a wizard. I believe it was with a wizard I had. And I used... I want to say it was a wizard. I don't remember. One of my characters, I used like a fireball or something. And I ended up getting killed because one of those things reflected the fireball back at me and it hit me and killed me. Fireball and one of them things reflected it right back at me and killed me with it. I mean, this was going into uh, I don't I don't remember what level Greater Rift it was, but they've changed this stuff with those so much that it doesn't it doesn't work that way anymore. Yeah, it was just kind of funny to get killed by my own attack, but at the same time it was like, well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> it surprised me at first, because I didn't realize they could do that. Destroying the stone will stop this This is the Shrine of Rakanishu. Rakanishu is a... He wasn't a Fallen, he was a different... They're like Fallen, but I think he was a... What was he? It wasn't a Devilkin, it was a... Crap, I can't remember. It was like a... A Fallen. But he was guarding the entrance to Tristram in Diablo 2. Apparently he was a fallen... He was a... Well... Well-known fallen or something. Got a shrine dedicated to him over here, so I must wait longer. I've been healed. Okay, I'm hopefully going to find the I'm used to playing in adventure mode now, where, where the waypoint for this place isn't back there, it's like out here in the middle somewhere. So I'll do a little bit more here, probably level up and then head into town. Pick it up in the next episode, then. More fury. I think I'm gonna go down here and clear this all. That please, should be enough to level help. up. I'm being robbed. Quiet, or I will. You fool! You think you can save this man? You have sealed your fate. Hey, I never said that. The enemy has destroyed Alcamus and most of the cultists. The master commands us to capture more slaves immediately. 
Go to the oasis and abduct the villagers. Kill any who resist. That way we shall both gain allies and destroy enemies. Thank you, thank you. Those vile creatures were looting my goods. Now that you have saved me, I'd be happy to allow you the privilege of buying them instead. What a privilege. <laughs> so let's sell off. Sell it. I don't need that gem. I've, I'm getting plenty of them. And I bought that die because I I like the way the white dies look on on a lot of the characters. Yeah, I like the way the white dye looks on a lot of the characters. Anyway, before I go back out there, that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.